Greetings, Massive. How you doing? Yeah. Well, Bridging, give me a shout, you know. Um, a little Bridging. And him say, you know, um, something, I guess his bass player could not make the geek. So I um, give me a last minute call and tell me, say, you know, um, come make it down at the club there and come down to come help him out a little. So I say, well, you know, can do a thing. So, um, going to the historic Bukum club. Now, Bukum club is a uh, West African cuisine dining and nightclub with bands playing there and they have been there for at least 40, 50 years and um, through the pandemic and everything have helped to uphold the musicians then um, before Bukum there was Kilimanjaro Kilimanjaro now is um, was the place where any act as far as reggae, African music, you know, um, even Blue, B.B. King and them man come through there and um, a lot of great artists come through Kilimanjaro and Bukum was like the little brother to um, Kilimanjaro and even when there was renovation in the Adams Morgan area Bukum stood its ground and uh, was able to really blossom you know so you know and they've taken care of a lot of the musicians it's more like a watering hole uh, a link up for musicians who are temporarily here after coming off the road if you don't really reside here per se you see and um you know you can link up and get links to other music um ventures that may be you know out of town and you know for a link up for our next gig on the road with an artist that needs specific musician you know so you know um great a very great club uh, Bukum, uh staple classic um club that has really endured and helped the musician them and like i said when you pass through there you can run into anybody so may i give you a snippet of what transpired like i said it was just a workout i was hoping that the bass player would have made it um and i you know captured what i could capture in terms of what was taking place there so hopefully you enjoy just take a look and you know uh full joy saying yeah man shango man this i say bless up all right yeah bookum club yeah Nice place, Rastafari. Blessed. One love.
How you doing? How you doing? It's a great book home. What's up, my brother? How's everything? It's one of the, what I would say, co-owners of the book home right here. So good, good. We're just doing a little feature on book home still, you know? <laughs> anyway, it's an inside look at book home. Give me a little run through. It's a Shango man right there, so give me a little run through. Let me see what Bookham is all about. It's the number one club in the DC area. We support all the reggae musicians. One, one. Original Michigan, you see me? Yeah. And this is a Shango man right here. So we're outside in Bukum right now, you know? And we have a mash down some rubber dog yeah. to the people them still, you know? So this is original Bukum Cafe. Been around for more than 40 years, you know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Here tonight performing on a Saturday night. Yeah. And it's still pandemic, but we're gonna go in and, and do our thing and some people are wearing masks and some not wearing, you know? Same here. So, same here. Yeah. Now mind every time shirt pocket. Yeah, not take no chance you know, but you see it? But yeah and, and, and the Almighty are the guy that you see it there. I'm I'm a But here what no he, he protect fools and babies. So that means uh, oh you better wise in you know, them time now. Yeah. But we say book home, you know, we are the only place apart from Kilimanjaro that support all reggae musicians in the area so oh, yes. we have to big up big up Club, you know yeah Definitely. one of the best clubs in the, in the Washington, Washington area yeah. you see yeah. big up yourself justice and the family and the crew where I keep the reggae alive and providing reggae for me bringing reggae to the people yeah you live see, reggae live reggae say, you, you know? see it and right through the COVID and thing yeah a book home and justice and do the thing yes. see it? so we have much to pick them up. Much respect every time. Washington DC, you don't feel no way. One love. Yes. Well, you don't know who this is right here, so but who is this right here? Who is this? Well, this is Sister Pat alongside the Shango man, see? And we got a little, a little sneak preview for you. Sing a little piece for them of the Red Rose. Let me hear what's going on with them. Get it. Mama, Mama. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm, my brains are going to stop. Yeah, my bam 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 Red rose makes you cry, yeah. I am the red rose, just who could see them. The thing that little red rose will make you cry for me. Smile, smile, red rose will make you smile. Red rose will make you smile. I'll pick the red rose so you can see it. Then 
You see, that's a little sneak preview we are gay still, but we ain't getting a real version yet. That's a little twip we are gay, see? Sister Pat, Ashango, hold it. That's on top of the. Down by the river. Oh, the river. That's one of my favorite. I just sang it last night. You see that? We're outside the book. Room. And willow tree. And willow Let's tree. Willow tree. It there. She said she wanted the willow tree. So, <laughs> alright. Kick off the willow tree. To Alton Alice. Yeah, give me, a, give me a piece of the willow tree then. They say that once a tear is falling, the willow cries eternally. Down there. Over me, my willow tree. Don't shake your tears eternally. I have found the love I search for. I need your tears no more. No more. They say the willow cries for someone Just when that someone's heart is broken Cry not for me, my willow tree Don't shed those tears eternally For I have found the love I've searched for I need your tears no more. I won't no, no, no more. No, no, no more. No, no, no more. You see it there? She's not going to cry no more. Oh, oh, oh. 